Today I'm making a tomato bisque. It is going to be roasted so that I get the full sugar of the tomatoes. I'm also going to add in some roasted garlic as well as some mirepoix to add some sweetness with that flavoring. I'm going to serve it with homemade croutons, which are, in my opinion, the best way to show your family you love them. Super easy to put together and really add a nice little uh, comfort feeling with the tomato bisque. It's going to be blended so that it is smooth and finished with cream as most bisques are. So come on and take a look at this great recipe. The two and a half pounds of tomatoes can be a mixture of Roma, vine ripened, or beefsteak, whatever you have. In order to prepare them, line a rimmed baking sheet with tin foil, cut the top off the tomato and halve or quarter them. Lay them cut side up on the tray. They can be close together. I find about three pounds usually takes up about one tray's worth. Next, I'm going to roast a head of garlic, slice the top off to reveal the 20 or so uh, cloves inside. Put into a small piece of tin foil with oil and salt and pepper, close it up and put it on the tray. Meanwhile, generously oil, salt, and pepper the tomatoes, then roast in a 400 degree oven for 30 or 40 minutes until golden brown. Now I'm going to make the croutons. I like to use soft crusted bread. Then I'm going to slice and cut them into three quarter inch cubes and lay them onto another lined baking sheet. I'm going to oil them, salt and pepper, and add some Italian seasoning as well. Then I'm going to put them in a 400 degree oven until they're golden brown. Prepare your mirepoix for the soup, which will add another layer of sweetness, another layer of aromatics to the bisque. I'm going to start with the two onions. I'm going to uh, finely dice them by slicing vertically down through the onion and then turning it and cutting down. This will give me a nice, fine, even dice. Remember to save those scraps. You can always use them in a stock. With the carrots, I'm cheating here. I'm using baby carrots, um, but really I just want a small chop on those. And then with the celery, cut them into slices and then into a dice. I'm going to add the mirepoix to a large pot that should be heated to medium uh, and cook the vegetables and th until they're softened. Again, it's going to add another layer of sweetness, another layer of aromatics to the bisque. When the tomatoes are done, they're gonna have a nice golden caramelization uh, that's going to bring out the sweetness of the tomatoes. So add those to the vegetables. When the garlic is cool enough to hold, you're going to squeeze the garlic into the pot along with the vegetables and the tomatoes. Um, roasting the garlic actually brings out a whole lot of sweetness in the garlic. And so having a whole head of garlic will not be too much. You might think like, oh, it's going to be a lot, but it's not. You're going to add in three to four cups of stock. Now, please note, I added in all four and it was way too much. So um, start with less and you can always add in more. Now I'm going to build the flavor of the soup. I'm going to add in two bay leaves and four tablespoons of butter and bring that to the simmer. Meanwhile, I'm also going to chiffonade. Uh, it's about five to six leaves of basil. Use your best judgment of how much you wanna add. But a chiffonade in French means rags. And basically I've made a stack of basil leaves and then I've rolled them up into a, um, a roll and then slice them very, very thin. Make sure you keep some of the basil aside so that you can use it for a garnish. Now I'm going to remove the bay leaf after it's been simmering for a while and I need to blend it. There are two ways to do this. You can use an immersion blender like I have here and it's going to get a much chunkier uh, soup. So if you use an immersion blender, just know that you're never going to get it quite as smooth as a true bisque. So you can see, here's where I decide to switch to the Vitamix. And I also realize that, yep, I have too much liquid. So I'm taking out the bigger solids of the soup, leaving some of the liquid behind. And I'm gonna put it onto the Vitamix and whiz it until it is all combined. By doing this, I really get a good pureed soup. Now, 
Additionally, you could use a food mill to really get everything um, separated. Now we're going to put it all together. Here are my croutons. I have definitely a warm spot in my oven where some were browner than others. And we're going to finish off the soup. So now it's back into the pot. I'm going to finish with a little bit of cream and incorporate that together. Again, how much cream you add will depend on how much broth you had as well. But what I want to think about is uh, you as the chef are responsible for the flavor of the soup. And so make sure that you are tasting it and adjusting for seasoning. Add more salt, add more pepper if you think it needs it. You can also finish up with a little bit more cream, but that is up to you. So the tomato bisque is all ready. It's nice and smooth because we had it on the blender. I'm going to finish it up with a couple of croutons sprinkled on top. These are great if you store them in an airtight container. A little finish of chiffonade of basil. And then I've got just a little bit of cream that I've whipped. And so I'm going to add that just a dollop so that I can see the cream on the tomato bisque. Enjoy.